Testing, testing, one, two, three. Back in October the 9th, 2004, I asked a question, are we entering a dark age of information? There's too much information out there. Students understand how to navigate the net. Teachers who do not know how to navigate the net, who do not use the internet. Students who have no one to show them what is good and what is bad. A system of education which students and teachers do not connect. The result is a dark age of information. Is our school system set up in such a way that as, as a teacher, I stand in the front of the class and I'm going to tell you what's important and I'm going to tell you what you need to be excited about because I'm really interested in rockets and so I'm going to sit there and I'm going to be passionate about rockets and in science we're going to concentrate a little bit more on rockets because that's one of my interests so that every student who comes out of my class is going to be very knowledgeable about rockets. They may not care about rockets but because I am the teacher and I am the one who is giving the information then you will learn about rockets. The information that you know is exactly the same information that I know. That follow the rules, play the game, move when the bell rings, worry about this society and no other society. Don't have a global view. I've never been able to see anything other than what's inside the four walls of a school. They don't come to school for answers. They come to school because our society forces them to. In school, do we do too much hand-holding? Do we have a model that a student can step into and don't have to think about anything, just have to follow the process? Just have to go through the steps in order to receive the diploma? That, after, that high school is only four years. If you don't do it in four years and go to post-secondary institution afterwards, then you're a failure. Do we tend to stop a student from thinking outside the box? Do we force them into boxes? Do we stop them from thinking as individuals? Do we force them into the herd? Do we force them to follow, follow a model that will make them just like everyone else? Students learn how to play school. They come to school, they go through the process because that's a process that we've set in place in order for them to be successful in society. What happens when a post-secondary degree doesn't get you a job? We see a need to reform the way we do things because we've lost control. We've lost that title of being the sage, of having the answers to all the questions. We don't own that title anymore. That title has been given to Google. Not a person, a technology. That scares us as teachers. Do we find that we spend most of our days as teachers explaining information to the students that they could get at a, in a second's notice on the internet? They don't need us to tell, a, tell them the content. They need us to show them how to find the answers so much information out there that there is no way in a million years we can teach everything that's out there. It is important that we give them the tools to be successful. Do they need to be taught how to learn? Do we want to create lifelong learners? Do we want to create people who think outside the box? Do we want to create people that are problem solvers? Do we want to create people who have the ability to go out there and do what they need to do to be successful? And technology is a part of life. Technology, the internet, is part of our society. And our schools have not recognized the fact that it is such a major part of our teenagers' lives that we need to educate them in order to make sure that they're safe and to make sure that they have an effective understanding of how to use the internet.